you doing guys? Um, what we're going to talk about today is just basically the parts to the very drive. Um, I will link a video below on how to do the actual adjustment of the very drive or basically how I adjust my RJ35's uh, very drive system. Um, so let's go over what we have here. First off, the, we have the speed adjustment arm that's in place. I do have it in the full forward position at this point. Um, we have the adjustment rod right there, this rod right here. With the adjustment pivot, we have a cotter pin holding the main spring in place. That is how they had it originally. Um, basically, there's an arm that comes up to here which holds the very drive in place. I have a 5 8 snap ring. I do have a bronze bushing right here or a thrush washer. I have another one on the back side. They're evenly thicknessed right now because I'm just trying to set the overall adjustment on the shaft for the very drive. And as you can tell, I'll show you a picture or a view from behind. As you can tell, that belt, once it focuses, there it is, is not straight. It's kinked over to the right a little bit. So we do have some work that I need to take care of. Uh, with shimming that very drive properly in order to get the belt straight. Um, same as the engine pulley. The engine pulley is right here. We have the reverse disc. This is not uh, anchored down by the set screw so I can move it in and out while I'm making adjustments to the very drive. Um, what do we have here? We have actually a 19 inch belt uh, going from the motor to the back side of the very drive and we have a 36 inch belt uh, that runs from the very drive to the jack shaft pulley so with that there are all the pieces for the very drive system this is a tedious process if you want this thing to run very smooth um, if you want the very drive to basically work like it it was intended. This takes a lot of time. There's a lot of shimming of the very drive, adjustments to the speed selector adjustment rod, namely that pivot right there. Um, basically, as you would see in the attached video below, it's a constant back and forth, back and forth, back and forth uh, between adjustments and sometimes belt lengths uh, in order to get this system to work smooth as glass. Um, it can be done. Uh, the other two RJ35s I have, um, the very drive systems work perfectly. I mean, you pull them all the way to the back position. That's right here. Excuse me, right there. Fully disengages this belt. The tractor goes into uh, full neutral. You go ahead and you push up the, f the forward. It fully uh, engages the belts. As you can see, this one here sits a little bit high. Just a touch high. It's a little too high for me. I would like to see that belt in a little bit more. Um, so what that necessitates is this gets screwed out because you need this arm to go that direction. Um, actually, apologize. It has to go... The, which way does it have to go? No, it has to go that way. I apologize. It has to go that way. So that way it drives this belt deeper into the very drive itself. So it's a constant back and forth, back and forth. Uh, once you get the belt straight, name, what I mean by that is getting that weirdo kink out of the way, that, that little whoop. So we'll, we'll figure that out. We might have to bend a couple things here and there to get it straight, but we will get it straight. We'll do the adjustment, as I say, below, and we'll get this very drive system running as smooth as glass all right guys thanks a lot um, we're getting there tractor shows are coming up there's one in the very first weekend in may in colchester connecticut um i don't think i'm taking this tractor i think i'm gonna take my panzer but i still got to get that thing started up so i'm gonna try to work on this tomorrow get this thing all straightened out and then we'll get the panzer out for a, a startup so hopefully uh Hopefully everything will be working out. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.